Hi everyone! Today's video will be all about what to know before getting a Frenchie. This video will give you all the inside scoop. So we're going to go down by bullets and I'm just going to explain in depth of what I mean by some of those bullets for you today. The first one is that a French Bulldog is an indoor dog. And what I mean by that is that they have low heat intolerance. They're very low energy. Their body tends to get hot very quickly. Um, so they're great for apartments. They're great for if you don't really want to take them out unless you're getting them as a puppy. If you do plan on taking them out, I highly suggest a very uh, shady area or the weather is not extremely hot so if you are living somewhere that is high degree temperature then having them indoor make sure the AC is on like they definitely do not like heat the second one is they don't know how to control themselves if you are playing with them they're super excited you always have to make sure that you keep them calm because sometimes if they're overly excited or they play too uh, aggressively they don't know how to control their own breathing and so you will have to calm them down if you don't, they can either end up uh, gagging or worst case scenario, throwing up foam and that can also go back into taking them out for a walk. If you take them out too long, they can overheat. The biggest thing that comes with a French Bulldog is that they come with gas. These guys will fart like there's no tomorrow and if you're lucky, it's not that stinky. But most of the time, it's very stinky. So if you live in a home that have like stairs or if you have sofas and couches, just make sure you keep an eye on them because they are very fragile. If they jump up and down too often, their back leg or their spine can be uh, fractured and then they can become paralyzed. So these little, these little breeds are super cute but you definitely have to watch them as if they are your babies. The third one I have for you is that they love attention. They will follow you literally everywhere. They don't like to be alone because they do have an anxiety issue they will let you know that they are present what we normally do is we we're going out and he hears us coming home and he's up in the room if he hears us he will definitely make a noise and he wants to get out and he's usually super excited when he sees us they are great with people if you're having a baby and um, thinking of getting a puppy they're great for kids they're great for any of the family members they're just super excited in general like they just want to meet you they want to hug you they want you to show them attention sometimes even though they are stinking cute but they can be very stubborn they'll only listen to you if they want to so sometimes their ears can like show you that they hear you but then they'll just look at you and not really do what you're telling them to do unless they want to so they can be a little bit uh, on the stubborn side but it also depends on how you train them when they're a puppy so it, it very it really varies from frenchie to frenchie is that for me girl mm -hmm. <laughs> the last uh bullet i want to put on that is that they're very kissable for Groot, he knows that i love to kiss him especially at night uh, before he goes to bed or when he's just sleeping in general i typically like to come by and give him a kiss on the cheek because he's so cute Number four is that they shed a lot. I didn't know how much they shed until we got Groot. If you live in an apartment and you have carpet, good luck because your vacuum will end up smelling like them. And that also goes with hardwood, hardwood floors. I feel like the hardwood floors wouldn't be too much of an issue because you won't have to worry about the smell but you constantly have to like clean up the area the next one will be that they are a high maintenance dog meaning um, the face pockets that they have like what i mean by that is like the rolls in their face um, their butt pocket there's anywhere that you see a roll on their body that you notice redness or like irritation like they're scratching it you definitely have to maintain those areas at all times and if you don't they will be infected there will be bacteria growth growing there and you're not gonna like it because you're gonna spend a lot more money at the vet trying to cure whatever it is that's going on in their on their body and when they poo, when they pee and poo you have to like wipe down his paw uh, wipe his butt and wipe his pee pee because if you don't you will end up getting a lot of stains throughout the house because their butt is very short and sometimes their poo might not be a clean poo if you plan on getting one make sure you're ready to get some wipes out so that you can wipe their butt every time they poo they do require a varieties of product. I did a video on what you must have in terms of products for a French Bulldog. If you want to check that video out, that might help you if you are, you know, searching for products or if you're planning on getting a French Bulldog and you need these products before your Frenchie comes. They're overall an expensive dog. So these Frenchies can go up from like 
$3,000 to $30,000 depending on their breed, their color, and just the structure of them in general. The next one that I want to share is that most French Bulldogs, they love to eat. And what I mean by that is whenever you give them anything, they'll most likely just gulp it or swallow it. So when it comes down to like eating their meals, if you are feeding them like raw food, they will not take their time to chew it, but they will def most definitely swallow it. And I've had my own experience with Groot when we gave him a uh, duck feet, he ended up swallowing the whole thing. So imagine a whole duck feet going down his throat. And that was the first and last time I'd give him duck feet. We had to make sure that his food is cut into small pieces or anything that we give him, it's in small pieces. That way he's not choking. So when it comes to feeding, Feeding uh, French Bulldogs, we highly recommend getting like a slow feeder, but most French Bulldogs will eat like there's no tomorrow. And the great thing about this is if you want to get their attention, food is their weakness. So if you want to train them, you want to do anything in particular, if you have food in your hand, they'll definitely make sure that they are listening. That way they can get whatever it is that you have for them. And that also goes to if you are eating, um, let's say you're having dinner, you're having breakfast, lunch, they will make sure that you're aware that they're sitting right next to you because they want a piece of whatever it is that you're having. But if you train them well enough, they'll most likely get the idea that it's not their food, but there is still a high chance that they'll come and try to get your attention. The last bullet I wanna, br I wanna point out is that French Bulldogs tend to have a lot of health issues. That can be from their skin to their stomach, to the way they breathe. Um, so if you are someone who is a light sleeper, I don't know if you will like the idea of them snoring throughout the night and they're breathing. They breathe very loud and they snore extra loud. <laughs> Yeah. Not all Frenchies, but most Frenchies are like that. And I've also had an incident where Groot was breathing so loud that whoever I was on the phone with knew that that was him or would question what that is that's on the background because it's so loud I wasn't able to even listen or hear the person that I'm talking to. So like I said with their health, health issues, it comes down to how their structure is and French Bulldogs have a really short uh, flat face which means their nose is pretty much invisible. With Groot, we had to get him a palate surgery because his nose airway was very narrow including his uh, throat so the pathway was opened for him during the surgery along with his nose that was something that allowed Groot to have a better breathing experience investing in a pet insurance or contacting a pet insurance company before getting your pet would most likely be beneficial to you that way you are prepared in case there's anything that needs to be brought in for emergency care the more information you have regarding about your dog's parent will help you better understand some of the complications that might come up as they grow but all in all uh, we believe that having a french bulldog is totally worth it because of their weird quirky uh, attitude um, coming home to them is like the best thing you can imagine and that's everything that I have for you guys in terms of what you need to expect I hope this allowed you better understand as you are getting ready to welcome home your French Bulldog if you haven't already done so like and subscribe you guys that way you are showing support to our channel and you will get updates when we upload new videos bye